I'm not popular. I feel like some of you may be under the impression that I am popular or that I was popular in high school or any school for that matter, and I'm here to tell you that I wasn't. And I'm actually also positive that there were some kids that went to my school that were under the impression that I was popular, and if you happen to be watching these videos, no. I wasn't. I tricked you. Not on purpose, but I did. So here's a diagram, okay? This little star right here is the popular kids, the popular group of people that everyone wanted to be a part of. Everyone knew their name, everyone wanted to be them, everyone wanted to look like them. I was right outside this circle. So to the outside looking in, and I looked like I was in that circle. But in reality, I wasn't. I was just the kids on the sidelines, like... <laughs> in fact, that's who all of my friends were. All of my actual friends that I hung out with and still hang out with today, and I consider my very close-knit group of friends, we were too weird to actually be their friends, but we were just not weird enough for them to like associate with us. I'll give you an example. So I'm sitting on the ground just passing time and one of the popular girls, Tiffany, comes up to me and she just commands that I go to the bathroom with her. Cut it, come to the bathroom with me. So I do because I'm a nice person and I'm just like whatever, I guess we'll just support this stereotype that girls go to the bathroom in twos, I mean whatever. And while we're in there she's like, so how's Tim? Oh, well, you know, I mean, we, we broke up like a year ago. He ended up being really untrustworthy. Oh my god, don't even get me started on untrustworthy boys. Like, you know, like, Mark and I, we're, like, not together anymore. And it's because he ended up being, like, so untrustworthy. Like, I was on MySpace the other day, and this girl was, like, messaging me and being all like, Oh my god, I'm gonna, like, kick your ass. I was like, whatever, bitch, you can't kick my ass. And I told her, like, shut up, she was not even there. But then Mark was all saying that it was because of something that he said, and so it was just like, ah. Whatever. I mean, boys, right? So crazy. Ugh, come on, follow me out this way. Come on, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. We're like gonna leave the restroom now. And at that point, it was pretty obvious that she didn't really want to know how my relationship was going. <laughs> she just wanted someone to yell at, which was fine. But we went and we sat down and uh, she found one of her friends and she just allowed me to kind of sit. I was no longer a part of the conversation. I was merely an observer. Oh my god, Stephanie! Stephanie, come fit. Come set with Katie and I. I'm on the other side. And, but she was just going on and on and on. But her friend had just taken over my role, which was to listen and back her up and be like, yeah, I know, what a dick. The highlight of this conversation for me was when she began to talk about how much they trusted one another. I mean, it was just like really hurtful that he would do something like that. I mean, we trusted each other so much. I mean, do you know how much we trusted each other? And this girl just looks at her with these wide eyes that are just so intense and sincere. And she says, no. How much? I have his MySpace password. And he has mine. Wow. That's trust. Which that is like totally like real, real sincere trust. I mean, I don't let anyone have any of my passwords and certainly not my MySpace password. But internet, that is my story that I have for you this week. And so please make sure that you subscribe and you click a thumbs up. Maybe share it to your friends. I have a Twitter and I also have a Facebook and I have a website. All of that information is inside of the doobly-doo. And I love you all so much and I'll see you next week, okay? Mwah. What was that?